make this video it may seem totally silly because I don't have many subscribers so I don't necessarily have a lot of visibility and anyway even if I had one I'm nobody to judge what's going on I am nobody but this video is very close to my heart Batman is my favorite superhero of the DC Comics universe a superhero that I love since I was little I love the character in Christopher Nolan's trilogy with the very good Christian Bale but since he was played by Ben Affleck I love him even more because, in my opinion, Ben Affleck is the best Batman. Ben Affleck is an actor who was very quickly decried as soon as we got the announcement of his role of Batman in the next DC Comics movie. Lots of voices rose to say that he was not the good actor for the role, that he was going to destroy the character. So no, it's the best thing that could have happened to DC Comics to have Ben Affleck as Batman. I could make a not so stupid parallel with the James Bond franchise. When Daniel Craig succeeded Pierce Brosnan, he, who is a blonde actor, took a phenomenal bashing just because of his hair color. Because James Bond is obviously brown. In the end, Daniel Craig is one of the best things to happen to the James Bond franchise. He will start his first film and the character has never been so popular. And when I see all the lingering rumors about the case of Ben Affleck, like what after a great implication on the extended universe project of DC Comics, he wanted to make himself the Batman solo movie. We've heard since for a long time a disengagement of Ben Affleck who suddenly did not want to to make the film and who even thinks to stop the war and we don't really know if it's his motives or if it's the motivation of the studio the latest news would be that batman will appear in the flash movie as ben affleck but would be recasted for matt reeves next batman movies why am i doing this video today this is because the rumors are more and more insistent they are quite credible quite plausible, it will make me real sick to say goodbye to Ben Affleck's Batman. Because Ben Affleck's Batman is the genesis of the DC Comics Extended Universe project. Because it's thanks to its presence that the Justice League exists. It's thanks to its presence that we have the Extended Universe. Without Batman, we would have nothing. I don't necessarily talk about Ben Affleck's involvement in the project, although I think it's huge. But when Man of Steel came, even though there were little nods to Bruce Wayne, the extended DC Comics universe was not as present and realistic. When Batman arrived as Ben Affleck, we really had a concrete idea of what this extended universe would be like. And it's not for nothing that the Justice League is formed by Batman and not by Superman and it's really an important thing. We are talking a lot of names that could replace Ben Affleck. We are talking about Jake Gyllenhaal, John Hamm, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. There are a lot of names coming back and I think that's a bad thing. You can't change the actor with the same temporality. The Justice League has just been built. It starts at the box office on a week's basis because its murderous criticism is not possible. We cannot change the face of Batman because even if he wears a mask, we see a lot Bruce Wayne. And I really don't see how much it would be to change the face of Bruce Wayne. Ben Affleck is Batman. It would really hurt me if Ben Affleck abandoned the project. Or worse, let him be removed. Because without having had his sort of film, having to create mythology around the character through the latest movies, it's not possible. It seems inconceivable to stop in such a good way. I know that my idea is a bit silly. To want to make this video to talk about Batman. But I have no impact that making this video will not change the decision that can be made. But I wanted to make this video. I wanted to give my full support to Ben Affleck. Who is for me the best Batman. I wanted to give my support to this character I love so much. To this character who marked my childhood, my adolescence and now my adult life. 
I want you to give my support to all this universe that is being created in a very difficult context. You can take away from Ben Affleck a such an important role, a role for which he seems born. Just because the critics seem bad or want to change. Because in the team in front, Chris Evans has gone from Johnny Storm to Steve Rogers and is doing very well. Thanks to Ben Affleck for the two movies he has already done under the Batman costume. Thanks for that. And I really hope to see him again in future films in the guise of Gotham's Guardian. And if he listens to me, which is totally naive on my part, if he hears these words, if he reads those words, Ben, don't give up, hold on. Because you deserve this war. Because you are made for this war. And because sooner or later, people who are not yet convinced will become it and you will enter the legend of movie cult superheroes. To anyone who hears this video, who read these words and could have an impact on the upcoming events regarding Batman, Bruce Wayne and Ben Affleck, please think about it. Don't make a huge bullshit and don't make incoherent the grandiose universe that is being built. I leave you with these words, you know what to do.